Okay, so let's talk about some more Pokemon that were scrapped for whatever reason. Um, so we have a pre-evolved version of, of Goldeen that is actually, it's like a gulpy Pokemon. And I actually, I do think the reason that this Pokemon was scrapped is probably because I figured like, you know, not, not because it was too weak, but because, you know, Goldeen basically is already like a goldfish before it evolves into Sea King. And it actually has like a very, and you know, being a Pokemon that's a giant goldfish, it's basically a really strong Pokemon too, sort of you know so a pretty decent you know pokemon that you can use against like certain characters um i'm trying to think um some pokemon probably just they would have probably kept it if they wouldn't have if they wouldn't have had to uh, cut back on stuff again cartridge limitations i do definitely believe that it's one of those pokemon kind of like goro chew and a few other pokemon that were just cut because they didn't have much you know, again, they probably just didn't really need the space for it, and there was really nothing else at it. It was kind of, like, not too generic, but it wasn't as exciting as, like, some of the other Pokemon that they had that they had to make room for. So, basically, what they would have done was just cut the, uh, the Pokemon's, uh, uh, deadline off they would they voted on the ones they wanted and then you know they would have just scrapped the ideas put them in a folder or came back to it later if that was the case or maybe they just decided all together that you know some of these pokemon they really don't need them because they just really weren't as useful as they might sound like you know like i'll give an example like you know take like magikarp for example like when pokemon first came out magikarp all it was useless all it knew was splash but you know then eventually it evolved into gyarados and gyarados is like one of the best pokemon all of a sudden so you see like how that trade-off goes starts off weak turns into something very very useful and extraordinary so and it's like the same thing with a pokemon you know so it's like you have to start with something but you know if you're catching just all these little goldfish Pokemon and then all of a sudden you catch a Goldeen and then all of a sudden a Seeking, you know, because you could do that with Super Rods, you know, you didn't have to evolve it through levels necessarily. Um, I, I just believe that the reason that some of these Pokemon were scrapped was because, again, cartridge limitations. Satoshi Tajiri, they did have a lot of content, so, you know, and this is even before you even consider the maps they had to cut back on, the, the Pokemon trainers they had to cut back on, and even some of the characters they had to cut back on. Like, it just really makes you wonder, like, like how many other ideas they must have had before they had to, like, basically do what they had to do with it. So, again, cartridge limitations were a big factor, and then they just voted on other Pokemon as well, so... I'm not really sure if they decided to bring back the uh, the Goldeen uh, uh, baby, but I wouldn't be surprised if um, they just cut it out because uh, due to, car again, more cartridge limitations. And when Game Boy Advance games came out, I mean, they didn't have this problem anymore, but up until Pokemon Crystal, like, they had to cut back on, like, 251 because it does, it does make me wonder if they would have been able to override it and go past 255. I'm not sure if anybody's been able to figure that out yet. Um, if it, I, I haven't even, I'll be honest, I can't remember if there's even a ROM hack I've played that was in the shape of the Game Boy games that it actually went past the 256 or 255 rather. Um, it's just kind of something that I'm still kind of looking into a little bit, but I'll think about it though, just a little bit more. Um, I'll, st I'll keep looking, but if I do remember, then I'll... I'll definitely um, make a video about it, but until then, I think right now we're really just kind of at a crossroads. I think Gorochu was scrapped because they decided that, you know, the, you know, because Pikachu at this time was probably, they started thinking Pikachu was going to be the main mascot. Uh, this was before they considered Rhydon and pa, probably like Clefairy. So they basically kind of scrapped those concepts. I think what happened was, they, they also said that Gorochu was scrapped due to cartridge limitations, but at the same time, it was due to balancing. And I think they had a lot of electric types, uh, a lot of them which that they did not actually decide to keep. Uh, I think also what they really ended up doing was they probably figured, the game designers probably figured that, you know, they wanted Pikachu not to look all menacing and all that. So they basically kind of cut Gorochu. Because Gorochu, it's debatable what it, did look like but due to a lot of fan art it kind of makes it look like a demonic pikachu because it was like supposed to be like really strong and the god of thunder sort of that's what goro really meant goro chu means like god of no it means like thunder 
god of racing or something like that. God of god of thunder, basically fast, very strong. So basically, they just they took that concept of Gorochu and they basically recycled it. And I think what they really did was they took that concept, the god of thunder. And maybe they might have reused that idea for like Thunderous for uh and in, in the the Pokemon, the genie Pokemon, even though Thunderous looks nothing like Gorochu. Um, but I can kind of see where they might have recycled the the god of lightning, um god of thunder uh Pokemon uh idea. So they basically took that concept and recycled it into something else. But Gorochu was mostly scrapped because they probably wanted a Pikachu. They thought Raichu was probably good enough. Raichu looked adorable, and I understand that. So they basically took that out and replaced it with uh, Pichu and kind of make it look more, you know, adorable. Which I, I kind of understand, you know, that's probably what they were getting with that. Um, definitely is a good market research, I'll tell you what. Although, uh, instead of Pikachu, for me, I'll take Cinequil over it any day. <laughs> I mean, that that's my one of my favorite Pokemon. Or, or maybe a little Volpix or a little Trifox or... Uh, um, Mekon, which is the pre-evolved ball picks and all that. But again, I, I think a lot of Pokemon, I think the reason why a lot of these Pokemon were scrapped was just because they just didn't vote on them. They were forced to cut back on them and they wanted like the stronger ones too because they already had like all these pre-evolved evolutions and all that. And that's why Bitty Bat was scrapped and eventually it was replaced with Crobat. Crobat eventually, they, they did eventually add another evolution to that line of Zubats. But we had Zubat that looked already small enough, then it evolved in Golbat, then it evolved in a Crobat. And there you go. So, so some Pokemon, it, it really depends. We have to look at this individually. But again, if if I have to be honest with you, it's it's mostly due to cartridge limitations and um, just maybe they they had a, they had a vote on stuff. They they were forced to vote on stuff. There was due to uh, space limitations, and this is even before you consider like after they took out the developer tools for like the game and they put it into something else. So basically. Um, they just probably didn't see why. They just probably had a lot of ideas. And, you know, they just said, well, we could probably just come back to them later on. We don't really need them right away. So there's basically that. And then there was the um, the, the designs they might have had, too. Like, maybe they had, like, different meanings behind them. Like, uh, some of them were too small, maybe. Like, again, Bitty Bat was a really small Pokemon. Uh, goldfish. A Goldine's not really, like, a very small fish, but it's... But there's definitely Pokemon that are smaller than it. It's like, it's like the little goldfish that, you know, when, when it's like a, a Goldeen is born, it's basically like a little, it's a little guppy Pokemon. It's like a little, uh, it's like a little, um, uh, goldfish. Like it's uh, like a minnow, basically something like really small and all that before it eventually turns into like this one foot long, uh, you know, fish. And even those small fish Pokemon can be kind of hard to catch sort of. And, um, and then you have like something like Seeking where it's like three feet long and it's a big Pokemon. Like it, I'd try reeling one of those bad boys in, <laughs> you know, and it's interesting to think like you could totally see like why they cut back on the evolutionary scale though, just a little bit. Maybe they figured, well, you know, it's not like horsey where like it had like three evolutions where it was like, it started out like with a small Pokemon and then it got bigger and then it turned into like a, a dragon Pokemon, you know, like Kingdra, for example. So it's kind of interesting how maybe there's a reason for the cutbacks on some of them. Maybe they just thought it wasn't strong. They, there was no, there was already enough similarities and they just decided to one up it a little bit. So they're like, okay, we have like more of a, not just a traditional thing, but a, um, I don't even know why I said that, but you know, but it's just like, maybe it's just plain reasons. You know, they just probably had too many ideas and they didn't really need any more than they already had. So that's basically it. So again, you know, um, so yeah, if, if you don't know already, subscribe to this channel. And if you want any more Pokemon videos, just let me know. But I, I do honestly believe, you know, if the repetition keeps a little, if it keeps going on, um, it's basically just a lot of ideas were scrapped and then they voted on them. So, but there might be other reasons too. Um, and we'll just keep talking about them. If I find any more videos, I'll be sure to make videos about them. But uh, for right now, though, we basically have to just kind of keep this in mind. There's a lot of Pokemon that were scrapped due to cartridge limitations. And then they voted on the ones because they were forced to in order to save up time and space. So 
whatever comes after that, that's really, really the major reason why a lot of these ideas, we never even seen them. Or maybe they were reworked into something else, but that's kind of subjectable and debatable.